Hello, it's Rebecca Budd. I am on a ferry between Vancouver to Victoria. I am going to meet up with my siblings to celebrate a special moment in my youngest brother's life, his early retirement. It is a time of reflection because he is, of course, in a transition from going to point A, from point A to point B, and all of the things that go with the idea of moving on. What better time to respond to Sally Cronin's great question, I wish I knew now, or I wish I knew then what I know now. It's a great question, Sally, and one that I have been considering over the last few weeks. When I look back, I think of all of the wonderful events that have occurred in the 60s and the 70s and the 80s and 90s and now into a new millennium. I bore witness to so many wonderful things. What would I do differently now as I look back? I think what I would do differently is to look at my life as a story. It's my story. It has beginnings and endings. It has chapters. It has people coming in, some for my lifetime, some only for brief moments. All of those things are filled with memories and great opportunities to participate, to belong, to hope, to have compassion. I would tell my 18-year-old self to say, it's going to be great. I wish I knew how great it would be when I was 18. Perhaps I wouldn't have been so concerned about where I was going, what ladder I was going to climb, what adventures I would undertake. It turned out even better than I even imagined. I wouldn't change anything except to look at my story. And my story collaborates other people's stories. We are all story, and when we get together, we make even a better story together. So as I move on, I continue my story, and that makes it all the better. When I look back, I rejoice and celebrate, and when I look forward, I anticipate. But the real treasure is to live now, to feel the wind on my cheek, to hear the growl and growl of the ferry as it moves, to know that I am here and that I am alive and I can enjoy whatever comes right now. And so, thank you, Sally, for the question. And thank you for your support, your encouragement. You build a community everywhere you go. And you support, encourage, as I said, but also you embrace who we are. And you are curious about stories. You're curious about what we're doing, how we are progressing. So thank you. And until next time we meet, because we will meet, I, I want to get to Ireland, you know. There are plans. Until we meet, keep safe, be well, and wherever your adventures take you, live boldly and with great joy.